Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to do a video on how God provides for us. Uh, just, I wanted to read a few scriptures that show us that God can provide for his people in the midst of lack and famine. God can provide in the most uncertain places that we could not imagine that there would be supply. God can provide in different ways. God can provide in secret places that we do not know. So, in the Jewish um, the Jewish name that God is called to be our provider is Jehovah Jireh. In Genesis twenty two fourteen it says, "So Abraham called the name of that place, the Lord will provide." So Jehovah Jireh means the God who provides. And that is a great comfort. That is a great thing to know that our God will provide all of our needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And, it, and as you know, guys, there's a lot of people who are struggling right now with finances. Maybe they don't have enough money to pay the rent or they just want a month away from being kicked out of their homes. Um, and, you know, you also want to think about the single mothers out there who are struggling all by themselves. They might have children and there is no father around, which is unfortunate. Um, and they're struggling as well. And God did look out for the widow women, okay? And I just want to encourage all the single mothers out there that God is your provider. God will provide for you. Um, but we also have to take action. We also have to do our part. And I know it is very difficult um, for single mothers to work. Um because they have children, especially if you have small children. Um, but God will give you wisdom and discernment and strategy on how to work around those things. If you can work at home and be with your children, that would be preferable. But sometimes we do have to make sacrifices. So... Um, and also, um, I just want to say that God provided for the widow woman. God sent Elijah to speak unto the widow woman. And the widow woman did not really have much, but she gave whatever she could. So God sees your heart and whatever you do have, pray over it because God can multiply it. Like he multiplied the loaves of bread, God can multiply it. God is a, a miracle working God. He is in the business of doing things that is supernatural that we cannot explain. in the earthly realm, right? So we have to think outside the box. We have to think spiritual. And so in order to do that, we have to have faith, um, seeing things of the unseen. We walk by faith and not by sight. In order to increase our faith, we have to read our word, right? 
So I just want to give a little testimony. So I am a single parent myself. I did not choose to be a single parent and I do have children. Actually, I have a daughter. And um, so it's just me and my daughter. And uh, like I said, I did not choose to be a single parent. Sometimes God has to intervene. And he did in my situation. Um, as you know, God is in the business of separating the wheat from the tear. And so I would like to say that not everyone is going to follow God. So in my case, uh, my ex-significant other did not want to follow God. So the Bible says family in the end times will go against other family members, sometimes they will, they will just leave. Um, so I decide that I'm going to walk with God and serve him. And they're most important. But I will tell you this, that I did find it very difficult because God created marriage. He values family and God is not a covenant breaker. God values covenant. Okay, so um, so it's important that whatever situation you're in, that you will trust God to be your provider. As in my case, God has continue to bless me as long as I walk with him and be obedient to him, most importantly. And God has to be your first love, most importantly. And so if you feel that no one's there or if you feel like you are hopeless, you have to take those first steps to do something you know, it's not enough just, just to pray, but to act upon our faith. We have to act on those things, okay? You know, God doesn't want us to be in despair. So we have to be strong. We have to continue to move forward. And let nothing stop us because God is with us. God will fight for us. And he is our provider. So I just want to say that you have to trust in the Lord. And I am myself in I am speaking from experience. I always have to trust in God every single day. He is my source. Okay, guys. I am under the shadow of the Almighty. And those who follow God are under the shadow of the Almighty. The Bible says, if you are obedient unto God, you will eat the good of the land. And I just want to close with that scripture that Jehovah Jireh is your provider. So I just want to say a short prayer. Father God, we just thank you for today. And we pray that you be with those who are listening. Lord, I ask that you provide for their every need. Keep them safe and protect them, Father God. And we pray for Israel and the peace of Israel. And just one more thing, guys, I have some merch right down below my video. If you would like to purchase, that'd be great. Um, I have the link down on the description. So I'll try to upload more videos and I will talk to you guys later. Until next time, Shalom.